said he had a knack for abuse. He's the hungry fairy. Hi, everybody. So today we're going to go over some different ways to make cold brew tea. The traditional way of making iced tea is basically just to boil the water, steep, and then let it cool. This is actually a lot of work. It makes your kitchen hot, and also the tea is sometimes a little bitter. I'm going to take the tazo tea here. Now, most people say you should pre-rinse the tea with hot water. This is to kill the germs, bacteria, and pollen. I pour some hot water and I let it soak for basically about 30 seconds. And then in a pitcher, I basically fill it up with roughly about 38 ounces of water. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave the pitcher outside the refrigerator, but you should definitely leave it in the refrigerator while this is going. This is much safer than sun tea. Once you start putting the tea bag in the pitcher, it starts brewing right away. I would normally keep this in the refrigerator at least overnight or maybe even up to two days. The next batch I'm going to show you, I'm going to use a tea infuser. We're going to use submersion types. I'm going to put just plain rubose tea just to show you what happens. I'm putting roughly about 27 grams. The reason I'm not really measuring this is because I can control the brew based on the time. And remember, you should put the pitcher in the refrigerator, but I just wanted to show you what's actually going on inside. This is basically taken over a course of a couple of hours and you can see the tea start brewing and mixing with the water. Pretty cool, huh? Now, since I started with dry tea, it does take much longer for it to brew. So maybe you may have to put this for at least two days, maybe three, but it will be well worth the effort. Now the dirt batch I'm making is going to be using traditional black tea with bergamot. This is basically Earl Grey tea. Now bergamot has a orangey flavor to it, so it's going to have a very citrusy taste to this tea. Putting about 25 grams in this, uh, this little duck here, it's pretty cool. Once you fill it up, you can just drop it in the pitcher again. And again, remember, you should have the pitcher in the refrigerator. I'm showing it outside just for demonstration purposes. Putting cold brew tea in the refrigerator is much safer than leaving it outside in the sun tea. When you're leaving it out, there's potential that bacteria is going to grow in your tea and maybe get you sick. I personally never had a problem with this, but this is what people recommend. Now let's take a look at the teases side by side. As you notice right away, they're all very clear looking. This is because it was not boiled. During the cold brew process, you make very attractive looking tea.
The Ice Citrus Bliss is very nice. It has a very lemony flavor to it. The Roy Boss Tea also has a slight citrus, grassy flavor to it. It's very clean, very nice. The Earl Grey Tea is very smooth. It has the little hints of bergamot, not very strong. I will personally leave this to brew a little bit longer just to get a little bit more of the bergamot flavor. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.